Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at a really simple class in Kotlin. The idea behind a class is that you can group data together with the functions that operate on that data. So if you are using a purely procedural language, like for example, C, procedural means it has only functions and you structure your code just using functions. Quite a common thing to do would be you'd have a bunch of functions that all operate on the same data. And often you would then supply some kind of reference to that data as the first argument for every one of those functions. And since that's a common thing to do in object-oriented programming languages, we have a mechanism for doing it without having to continually specify a reference to the data as the first argument. Let's take a look at a really simple example, the simplest example that I could devise in Kotlin right here. So to create a class, we need the keyword class. Let's call this person, and then we'll have open and close curly brackets. And to make this really simple, I'm not going to give person any data. We'll take a look at that in the next video. We'll just give it one function and you can have multiple functions in your class. Let's create a function called speak and we'll do print line hello. So notice we indent the functions within the class, within these curly brackets. In general, if we write things within curly brackets, we indent them. And that's very, very important because it helps to make the code readable. I haven't mentioned that much in this course because IntelliJ is really good about putting your cursor in the correct position anyway, but it is extremely important to get your formatting correct. Then let's have a main function here. So person is now effectively a type like string or int. We can create variables of that type. Let's create val person one equals person and then we need round brackets there. You'll see in the next video probably why we need those round brackets. You can specify the type of course. The type of this is person but that's optional because it can be inferred here by the compiler. And now we've got what we call a person object or an instance of the person class. So the class is kind of like a blueprint for creating instances or objects. If this is a particular person, this is the idea of a person. And we can call functions associated with the person class. And because the function here is a part of this person class, we actually call it a method. A method is just a name for a function that's part of a class. Let's do person1 and we write a dot and then speak and around brackets. So we prefix this function with the object it's associated with to say that this is actually a method of this person object. And let's run it. And we can see that we've successfully run this function. So if you are new to programming, you definitely want to try this out for yourself. And even if you're not really, this isn't yet too much use because we haven't yet defined any data that this speak function could work with but we'll take a look at that in the next video. If you're coming to this from Java, you'll notice the difference here is that there is no new keyword, which you have to use in Java to create objects from classes. In Kotlin, we just don't need that. And if you do try this out, you can try adding multiple methods here and then calling them using your object. That's it for this video. Until next time, happy coding.